even if it doesn't end up being very good, a lot of people have been talking about this game. I've recently heard a conflicting opinion about this game. I'm intrigued. Um, and I've been intrigued enough to want to play this game anyway. So um, I'm going to hop on my cell phone here real quick just to make sure that the stream is functioning properly. Because I don't feel like exiting out of the game to do that. So give me one second. Uh, da -da 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 Twitch, right? Yeah. Um, going into this game, I'm expecting this to be more or less sort of told in a telltale game style. And of course now Twitch doesn't want to load for me on my phone. Son of a... Oh, wait a minute. It might be working. I spend most That's of my evening... Oh. Bad savings idea. I spend most of my evening trying to figure out installing a pretty complex mod for Skyrim. It's like the third time that I've tried to do this process and I realized I did something very not okay very early on in the process. So everything went completely and I'll have to try it again. Just want to know my microphone's working. Okay, it looks like we're good. We're live. I'm gonna try and see. Yeah, controller works. So we're gonna do that. Let's just go to options and see what we got. Video settings, gamma screen size, advanced video. Yep, yep. Why not? Can't go any higher than high, so, uh, yeah, for anybody who doesn't know, I never really stre streamed games on my PC that much. The only thing I ever did, typically, was, uh, emulation. <laughs> so this is pretty nice. Um, the, some games I won't be able to do, especially as we get further out, um... But I'll still play other older games for fun. Like The Witcher 3, my game performance sort of stutters a bit because I'm trying to stream as high quality as I can for you guys while I'm playing a pretty demanding game quality-wise. So, let's get started. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. Blah, blah, blah. We're telling you a different kind of story that you'd probably expect to see from Telltale Games. That's all they really had to say, right? There may be some kind of interruption tonight. My kid has a cold, so. How did I get here? And where is here? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there.
Oh, wow. No wonder things look messed up. That is not cool. Holy shit. Yeah, that's what I said. Famously called film little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't and fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Dialogue cue missing there. Victoria? Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. I do She's love my analog camera. Right? I should take a quick picture now. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any I one of you. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. And any but one of you I like it old school. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as Isn't I should. Too obvious? My little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. people at the height of their beauty or innocence. Shit. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? All right, she's not going to read it. So, let's see. October, her favorite month. Best weather of the year. I'm not going to read all of this. Not quite the social butterfly, based on what she's saying. At least I'm trying to climb out of my cocoon. I shouldn't expect my life to completely change after a few weeks of Blackwell Academy. So new school. As her parents love telling her on a loop and important, and you know, considering what this story is going to be about, you have all the time in the world. Just got accepted in the Blackwell Academy. If words could dance, this would be a rave. So she's excited about this. She wants new clothes, a new laptop. Leaving Seattle to go back to Arcadia Bay. Uh, misses her friend Chloe. She's really about this photography. She wants to make it big. And she's really nervous about, you know, the move and everything like that. She wants things to be different at the new place. First entry from her new dorm room. Hasn't had time to write or take pictures. Her shit's everywhere. 
She plans a wall of photos, which we saw a picture of on her desk. The, the day after she starts there, Blackwell sucks ass. Not really all that keen on this Victoria girl who likes the attention. She's not finding herself falling out of that social unease, as she calls it. She was hoping that would be different here. Made a friend named Warren Graham, a serious geek, plus he's dark and witty. Comes across as kind of a know-it-all, but it turns out he does kind of know a lot. They talked about photographers, of course. Study partner. She's 18. <laughs> she thought being 18 meant she didn't have to deal with this teenage drama anymore. Man, that shit doesn't go away for some people. And I'm not talking about me, but there are people that are like my age and older. It's just like, grow up. But, you know, reading like, like this journal, I can't really identify with a, you know, a girl's journal. But it kind of makes you kind of feel that awkwardness at that stage of life you know you, you think you kind of know everything even though you're sort of uncomfortable about the future so the Prescott's here they are a family of money Victoria Chase is a snob So they're pretty much the press gods, and Victoria Chase are like two peas in a pod. She likes Kate Marsh. Once again, she's confident about her friendship with this Warren character. She likes Ms. Grant. Alright, so that's pretty much that, right? Had a brilliant eye. So, she could have taken another approach. Let's take a I selfie. Have to admit. I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer Robert. Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces. 
making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Well, that guy is uh, a little intense at times, I guess, huh? Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. I just really think Everyday Heroes is an important cultural event. Huh. This might make a cool shot. You have just by participating, by putting yourself out there in the world. That teacher is kissing her ass. I also also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not for everybody. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Hi, Kate. Oh, hi, Matt. Kate, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for... You can never escape the lighthouse here. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The Decisive Moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson? That's rare. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. She oh, is man, all about them. those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. Pictures which are also cell shaded. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. All right. Let's talk later, Max. 
time to leave the classroom. Oh, wait, what's this? Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. Just getting you Welcome right. to the real world. Just cute? Hot. Then I might send you a special picture, Jack. I'm not paying $150 for Because Max wants everybody to see how cute she is. She plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so oh, I didn't know this was Square Enix. Interesting that they're venturing into this territory, but, you know, they may have seen Telltale do a... You know, get pretty successful off this kind of uh, storytelling sort of game, so they figured, why not? Probably uh, minimal cost, maximum profit, as long as it does well. Evan doesn't say much to me, but... His photos are very cool. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous as usual. By the way, I hope the, the audio mix on this stream is yes, this okay. This poster must stop fully dead in their tracks. Stella is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. That's Dana talking to... I think his name is Justin. Dana is on my floor, too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. No one can tell where you are. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. American I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. I hate pulling jock straps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. I wish I had. It looks like she's been gone for months. Rachel Amber, that'll probably come into play. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a... That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. Don't need a PC. I missed the Poetry GM tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. I wonder what actually happened to her. Wondering why she Good thing I left my AK at home. Talking about her own place. There's Hayden, another Somewhere Vortex Club bro. But he's actually not an ass. No one could try her There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. Figures Juliet would be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. God, Samuel is such a weirdo, but I kind of like that about him. You can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the boards. Black Wolf sure takes its swimming seriously, but otters are cute. Go otters. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. <sighs> now who would bother to write that crap? Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it.
When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. It's cool, Nathan. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Wow, things got real heavy real quick. Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Yes, he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us in I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now. Shit! Can you give me an example of a Man, photographer I cannot believe who this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller? Diane Can I Arvis. actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? I did now. it. Can you I actually an did it. A photographer who perfectly I'm captured a human the human time machine. And white. Anybody? Max, Bueller? don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her Keep images. Keep it together, Max. Faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers. And when children. I took my selfie, Jefferson She's asked me a question. Tortured, right? If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. I could frame any one of you in a dark... Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not of dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point Can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here? Oh shit! Knows their Jefferson wants to keep me I after class, a French painter and I need time to save that girl. Lives. A process that gave portraits a sharp, reflective style, like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind the again and give him the right answer? Uh, 
Hello, Max. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. But you can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of Evan. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Which could mean she's yes, Victoria, gonna get herself killed. Even I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing Give him the picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's... I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Yo, Daniel. You remember the I hate that sign. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face, I shredded my photo, then the butterfly flew in, and I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am, or who you're messing around with! Where did you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down! has a gun! I should do something else. People trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble. I need a hammer to break it open. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Holy shit! I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Ever tell me what to do? I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. 
Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Hold on, Max. Come back here. She cannot catch a break, can she? You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Oh, jeez. He'd never believe me. I just got sick in class. Um, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Oh, you can't rewind here. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that teen toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with the class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried uh, about my What do I want to do? You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Hmm. Fuck that guy. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished Oh, man. you fucking douchebag. And one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... Then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is serious charge I'll look into the matter personally thank you for bringing it to my attention that's it after what I told we'll you we'll continue this discussion later in my office please go outside with the rest of you no 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 no, no don't make me leave of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now should I rewind and change my story Damn. I don't know, because, like, on one hand, you don't say anything. There could be, you know, ramifications for that later. 
you do say something, this idiot's not going to believe me anyway. This is what I tend to do. I overanalyze everything. You look a little stressed. Principal Wells always looks so distracted. I can never figure out what he's thinking. Does he hate me? Nah, screw it. It's a whole new fishbowl this girl's in, and she can't get involved that deep. Not right now. Bunch of missing person posters. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Yeah. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. Oh. I guess cameras could have helped Rachel. I can see both sides. You're fair-minded, Max. And we all pray Rachel is found safe and sound, bless her soul. But this petition isn't about her. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. Native Americans? The tribes who were here first, who welcomed the settlers. Both cultures found a mutual symbiosis and thrived. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? That security guy is kind of a douche, though. Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. The petition is going well. I think we'll hit our goal. Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. Well, I'm kind of in a rush right now. I don't really have the time. Too bad. Serious things are taking place at Blackwell, and they affect you most of all. Come back and see me when you do have time. Promise?
Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you... Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. I guess cameras could have helped Rachel. I can see both sides. State You're my case and don't Max. sign it. And we all pray Rachel is found safe and sound, bless her soul. But this petition isn't about her. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage. From the Native Americans who founded this land, to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. You know a lot about Blackwell for being the science teacher. Science is history, Max. And I have a secret wish to teach local lore and legends. There's a lot of unique facts about this you might really enjoy discovering. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Miss Grant, I totally respect your passion and knowledge, but some security cameras make me feel a little safer. I'm not against security, Max. We should all be concerned when private space becomes public. Your generation has been tricked to think everything should be recorded. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? I think so. We're lucky to have such a famous teacher. And I actually love his work. Me too. His New York urban stuff is great, but I'm glad he came back to his Oregon roots. Screw the East Coast elite. It must piss off those pretentious galleries that Mark Jefferson is teaching photography to us Blackwell Hicks. Plus, he is pretty hot for an older guy. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Victoria is pretty obvious. I don't think Jefferson is into her. I don't think she's closed the deal, but she's not the only player. Now, how do you know this? You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Well, I heard that from a good source. So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of click, but I heard insane stories about Rachel. This day has been so insane. Everything is happening too fast. And none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow, I did rewind time. So there has to be a reason. And I have to find out why. Nope. I better read Warren's text before he blows my phone up. Do you want to meet for coffee after school? I need an excuse to not study. Please make sure you check out Necromantic on my flash drive. Mwahaha. Hey, Mad Max, let's bust shit up. 
Wait, I have to study for a physics test, so if we bust anything, we also have to measure its velocity. Don't ignore this message. Hi, Max. Can you get my flash drive? I need some info. And space. Hello? Sorry, running late. Insane day. I'll meet you in the lot. Looking cool. You'll see. My camera will be ready. See you shortly. I hope so. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I, um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. I'd be honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse, Rachel Amber. Creepy. You knew her? No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait, oh, she was a natural. So what happened to her? There's got to be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. I just hope she's okay. Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Uh, she had a good heart. Okay, why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way, you're a good substitute, Muse. Oh, that's a good posture. Good, good. Best portrait ever. That's one of his famous shots. I love how it captures the moment. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, sir. These photos are great. And Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing. Well, those are the dorm dormitories. Clever. Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. What's wrong? Nathan Prescott, little rich bitch kid. He thinks he can own people like his parents own Blackwell. Like he owns the Vortex Club. Yes, he's a nasty piece of work. Somebody needs to take that prick down. He'll take himself down. Yeah, history always proves that, right? Just wait for justice, you sheeple. Dick. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to Thrash? 
Oh yeah? Bring it. What's your first move gonna be? Uh... Jump? You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. We're done talking. You're too sketchy. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to Thrash? I came to no slide, but I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Nah, I just can't skate worth shit. Oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? I'd love to see a no slide. Let's get Trevor all over that action. So bizarre to be back here after five years. I thought I could just. Sorry if you could hear my school. neck cracking. But with all this shit going on, I'm even more an outsider. And who can I confide in besides my journal and my camera? Man, these are supposed to be the best years of my life. This is what it's like to be alone and feel lonely at once. Alright, so it's recapping everything that happened. Man, I need to get a better computer chair at some point. My ass hurts. <laughs> I need to go there and grab Warren's flash drive. Come on, Logan, bring it, bruh. Bring it, bruh. to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. The Prescott dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? Okay. That sucks. Oh. Hi, Max. What are you reading? Love today or die forever. Don't even say anything. It's a bestseller. What to say? Good point. Now if you'll excuse me. No, bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. No, bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. No, bro. No, 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 football, no, no. Max. Big football. Step away. Double dick. Sweet. Glad to see our campus is eco-friendly. Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. Nice, bro. How did you like class today? I don't remember. I guess I don't care about much of anything today. Is there anything... Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. 
I'm sorry. Nice. Seriously, Max, I don't want to talk. Howdy, Samuel. Well, hello there. You look busy, Samuel. Oh, I'm always up to something. Today it's sweeping, then painting windows. Just don't paint over the posters for Rachel Amber. You can't color over that sunlight. What do you think happened to her? Best not to dwell on the past. Samuel looks forward, like a clock. You knew Rachel? How can you know a prison? You just stare in awe. Now I have to go paint windows. This guy's fucking creepy. No. What was she like? She must have been popular. Even sunlight can cast shadows. Rachel did both at once, you know. She was like a battery. Positive and negative. You know, uh... See you later, Samuel. Fred Durst of Limp Bizkit once you, famously asked, Sweet. Is Mysterious you. appealing? I paint. The answer is no. Not one bit. Not when it comes from talking to a creep like that guy. I mean, holy shit. Why would I want to speak to her? Oh, look. It's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh, yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Okay, now where exactly is the sprinkler valve? Okay, now where exactly is the sprinkler valve? Victoria, it's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. No paparazzi allowed. Sweet. Just... Nice. Samuel is way too close. Okay, let's see if this works. Victoria, it's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. <laughs> no way! No fucking way! You okay, way. Victoria? 
Victoria? Oh, Samuel, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo! Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I drive. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I am sorry. That's an awesome yeah. cashmere coat. It was. But there will be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. No. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. Nice, bro. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and... and the go fuck yourselfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Right, Taking well. the high road there worked out quite well. Victoria probably played... Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but... At least that's an alarm from this century. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. Hi, honey. Your principal sent me an email saying that he's concerned about your attitude and behavior, that you were not fitting in well. And hiding in your dorm. I know it's hard to be away from home, even if you are all grown up now. But you are there to change the world with your camera. Please call me soon in the chat. We miss you. XXOO, Mommy. It's nice. <sighs> Max and Chloe. Best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. 
Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont troll. Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. Daniel, I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauty. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual... You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. Got shit to do. It's cool she can play though. It's hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. All right, let's go to that other room. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You are ridiculous. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? You like why are you even me. asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything, but I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Answer, you wuss. Ugh. Dior, Givenchy, you could pay for my tuition with... Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Um, she's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here.
This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zack has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. This is both sad and pathetic. Must protect my precious, so Max never has to chase it down again. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. Of course a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. It's so fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. And yes, Matt. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Poor Juliet gets her rage on. I hope she doesn't kill Victoria. Zachary should worry too. As if I'd let that ego case jockstrap touch me. But I bet Victoria would be all over that action. Or has been. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. He's a good guy. A geek like me. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of. And in a special folder called Max. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Now I feel too wiped out to leave. I don't mind waiting out here forever. I love this parking lot. I can count all the cars. The more I text, the longer I take. On my way. Bye. This shit. Ow! That hurt. Damn. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Ouch, poor Alyssa. That'll leave a bruise. By the way, thanks, but we're not friends. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. 
That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different. You leave her alone. Excuse us. This is official campus business. Excuse me. You shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey. Nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Oh, Max. That was great. I think you scared him for once. I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. It seemed to cheer up her day. I'm pretty content with I that. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. How could Zach and Victoria... Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexed Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. Max, get your ass over here. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. By the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. You can draw? I thought you were blinded by science, not art. Art is science. Music is math, et cetera, et cetera. I'd put Stephen Hawking against Picasso any day. Hardcore. So you must use a computer to draw. Of course. I'd love to tweak one of your selfies with some cool graphics. That might not suck. I'll let you know. So did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. No fucking way will I watch that. My mind is twisted enough. I laughed my ass off. 
So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. <laughs> No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Rosemary was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody. Just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you saw, now. Answer me, bitch! What are you talking about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new, I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me, worry about yourself. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh, man. You're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait, in the bathroom! No. <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren! Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? Whoa, it's almost 11. I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. I didn't mean to I stay up this late. I would think right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Only for Mark Jefferson. He was a pretty famous photographer in the 90s. I've always loved his work. Those that can't do, teach. I'm glad you found a good reason to come back. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I 
Bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Nerd alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Once I get to a point where I have a little bit of control, I gotta save and call it a night. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home, shit, home. looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill-out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Alright, let's... Enix account, get the fuck out of here. Alright, so that was a nice chunk of the uh, first episode of Life Life is Strange. Um, one of the things that's probably going to decide, you know, how well this goes is how well they're able to hold the story. Now, so far, obviously, everything that I've done. Uh, was just introductory, you know, uh, getting introduced into uh, this girl's life and the world that she's in, the world that she left to come back to this place, um, setting up some of the drama. You know, she obviously has a, a girlfriend who's not a girlfriend, but, you know, a girlfriend who is kind of down in the dumps. There's something going on with her. Obviously, she has this strange power. She's got a friend that she hasn't seen or even bothered to contact for so long. What's going on there? She's got a, you know, she, she's sort of getting this negative vibe from, you know, the principal um, and also the security guard guy. And, you know, there's a lot of different things going on. And I think they did a pretty good job of pulling you in to that, uh, into the world that they're trying to develop here. To get to know the characters and sort of feel something along with the main character, so let's see how they uh, keep that up over the course of time. Have a good night, everyone.